On September 7, 2025, the world watched as the moon vanished into Earth's shadow. But when the eclipse ended, the sky didn't return to black. Instead, it ignited, an unearthly neon green wave that rippled from horizon to horizon. Cameras from Brazil to Turkey caught an icy blue comet streaking across the heavens, shifting to an impossible emerald glow that refused to fade even after the eclipse ended. That night, the world met 3I, Atlas, our third confirmed interstellar visitor. At first, it seemed like another comet, but something was wrong. Its path wasn't bound to the sun. Orbit models failed. Every simulation broke. The data screamed one truth. This object wasn't from here. Moving at nearly 100 kilometers per second, 3I, Atlas was tearing through our solar system on a one-time trajectory, faster than any human-made probe could ever chase. From backyard telescopes to the world's biggest observatories, astronomers scrambled. The comet's color, speed, and chemistry defied every known rule. Spectrographs showed no trace of the familiar diatomic carbon bands that make comets glow green. Instead, carbon dioxide dominated, eight times more abundant than water. Iron lines were missing, yet nickel blazed brighter than any comet on record by a factor of 50. It was as if the comet's heart was forged under physics alien to our star's domain. In La Palma, a team stared at the strange plateau of green light in disbelief. It's not scattering, it's radiating, one whispered. In Chile, the Gemini South Telescope confirmed the spectral fingerprint, a flat, featureless emerald emission, unexplainable by any known chemistry. Meanwhile, orbital data placed its closest approach near Mars, just 29 million kilometers away. Too far for interception, but close enough for a daring observation. NASA rushed to act. Mars orbiters were repurposed in days, a process that normally takes months. Engineers rewrote software overnight, re-aimed sensors, and cut through red tape. On October 3, 2025, as 3I, Atlas hurtled past Mars, Maven and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured ultraviolet flashes and metal vapor readings unlike anything seen before. For three hours, Mars became humanity's last window into an alien messenger. What they found deepened the mystery. The nickel-heavy spectra and carbon dioxide-rich coma pointed to origins colder and older than any region near our Sun, perhaps from a frozen world orbiting a dying star. Its dust scattered light in ways seen only in the farthest trans-Neptunian bodies, suggesting it was born in the silent reaches between stars, where temperatures fall below 250 degrees Celsius and molecules fossilize in the dark. But the strangest discovery came later. Archival sky data from 2023 and 2024 revealed faint traces of 3I, Atlas that had been missed. Detection algorithms had ignored them, discarded as false positives. The software had literally filtered out the impossible. Engineers rewrote their code, adding new protocols to flag anomalies, objects that moved too fast, glowed too green, or refused to fit the models. The lesson was painful but clear. We had nearly missed a messenger from another star because we weren't looking with open eyes. 3I, Atlas vanished back into the void by late October its emerald tail fading into the dark beyond Mars. But it left behind a challenge, a reminder that the universe still holds surprises that can rewrite science in a single night. Mission planners now talk about rapid response interceptors, solar sail swarms, and AI systems built to react in real time. No more waiting, no more regrets. Because if 3I, Atlas was any sign, interstellar visitors aren't rare, they're just fast, faint, and fleeting. And next time, we must be ready to meet them. The night the sky went green was more than a spectacle. It was a warning. The cosmos is speaking again, not in words, but in light, and the question that now haunts every observatory is simple. What if that green glow wasn't just chemistry, but a message?